Donkey of the day for Tuesday, March 12th goes to New York Knicks owner James Dolan. Now, I don't know James Dolan. I don't know anything about the guy other than he's the owner of the New York Knicks. And on one hand, the New York Knicks are the most valuable NBA franchise. But on the other hand, the New York Knicks have sucked for years. So I don't know how much credit James Dolan should get for keeping the value of this trash-ass product so high. Okay, I think all the credit for the Knicks being worth $4 billion should go to the most delusional fan base in all of sports, the New York Knicks fans. <laughs> Drop one of the clues bombs for the New York Knicks fans out there. Listen, I understand being a delusional fan. I am a Dallas Cowboy fan, okay? We used to be the most delusional fan base in all of sports. But we have been, you know, kind of winning in recent years. And we have a great core of young players that will continue to get better. Our future is bright, so it's okay for us to have hope. But Knicks fans, what hope do you have? I mean, it's sad. Literally, every year, whoever the prime free agents are for the uh, you know upcoming offseason, Knicks fans start passing around a lot of memes of said player in Knicks jerseys. You got my envy? Yeah, he's one of them. For years, it was LeBron. Now it's Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis. Knicks fans like my man Real Life Cast. Drop one of the clues bombs for my man Real Life Cast. They, they out here writing articles, begging the NBA to rig the lottery so they can get the number one pick and grab I ain't mad at that. South Carolina's own Zion Williamson. I'm not mad at it either, but it's sad. Okay? And one day in the faraway future, some poor kid is going to come across all these Photoshop pics of players in Knicks jerseys and wonder... Why did the Knicks never win a damn thing if they had LeBron, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant? These all these guys play for the Knicks. So salute to all the loyal, delusional New York Knicks fans that keep this franchise beyond profitable. Now, James Dolan, owner of the Knicks, owner of the Garden, has to be scratched out because all money is not good money. And regardless of how much the franchise is worth, you have to know you're robbing the fan base with no mask when you have a whack-ass product on the floor. In fact, I think James Dolan should actually be the nicest owner in the league. He should be doing things like, you know, bussing kids in from the hood and giving them free seats. He should be donating money to various charities all throughout New York City. He should be shaking hands, kissing babies, and telling people, thank you for still coming to see this garbage-ass team. But James Dolan, like most entitled, privileged pricks, doesn't think this way. Now, a video surfaced on TMZ Sports, and it was James Dolan getting pissed at a fan because the fan urged him to sell the team. Let's listen. Sell the team! You think I can sell the team? You want to not come to any more games? Why? It's an opinion. Uh, No, it's not an opinion. (laughs) And you know what? Enjoy watching him on TV. Hold him for Kevin. Hold him for Kevin. Way too sensitive. I got too much money <laughs> to be so damn them sensitive. On TV. <laughs> yeah, foul, yeah, you got man. too much money to be so goddamn sensitive, James Dolan. You know, you know. According to Bleacher Report, James Dolan is the tenth ranked owner in sports history. I watch a lot of ESPN. Pardon the interruption is one of my favorite shows. Tony Kornheiser talks about how James Dolan sucks as owner all the time. Fox Sports wrote an article a couple years ago with the headline, "Why the NBA Must Force James Dolan to Sell the Knicks." Elite Sports NY wrote an article once titled, "James Dolan Proves Once Again Why He's the Worst Owner in New York Sports." The Washington Post wrote an article yesterday. With the headline, after fan tells James Dolan to sell the team, Nick's uh, owner shows why it was good advice. The moral of the story is, James Dolan, everyone knows you suck as an owner, okay? And you once again proved everyone right. You had uh, a disgruntled customer, okay? The Knicks have consistently sucked for 20 years. You you can understand why he's disgruntled, right? They are 13 and 53 this year. Why wouldn't he be upset? Envy, are you upset as a Knicks fan? Yes, I am. All right. Everyone has critics. Okay. In fact, Malcolm X said, if you have no critics, you likely have no success. Well, James Dolan, the Knicks have no success in all the critics. Why? Because this is NYC and the franchise is worth $4 billion. You are robbing people blind and it's going to be hard for the Knicks to get better. Because if I'm Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, or any other potential free agents you want, why would I want to play on the New York Knicks? I'm a stern believer that if you ever want to see how someone is going to treat you, watch how they treat other people. You can clearly see that James Dolan doesn't care about fans. He doesn't care about former players. Look at what he did to Charles Oakley. Drop on the clues bombs for Oak, man. Mm. So why would he care about you? The problem with the New York Knicks, the problem with James Dolan is you guys and gals keep rewarding him even though they don't deserve it. Stop going to the games. Stop going to the games until some changes are made. Why do y'all keep buying season tickets to a trash-ass product? Why do y'all continue to support this garbage? You want James Dolan out or start affecting his bottom line, which is the money, okay? James Dolan banned this fan from the garden. You did him a favor. I don't care about coming to see this whack-ass team. Now, if you got some big-name free agents to come to New York, come to New York, it might make me feel bad that I'm missing out, but this trash you got on the floor now, absolutely not. 
And remember, James Dolan, what you do now will come back in the future, okay? Because life has a funny way of making you deal with what you make others go through. Pretty soon, James, you'll be the one not welcomed in the garden. And guess what? You earned it. Please let Remy Ma give James Dolan the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw! Mm -mm -mm. Hee-haw! You stupid mother Are you dumb? I understand it's his building, but it, it does come a point in time where you have to stop making him feel welcome in that building if you think that he is indeed the problem for the Knicks sucking. Now, the kind of people they need to ban are people like Shane Kaisel, the one that was coming at Russell Westbrook. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. who should be banned from the building, not somebody who just says to sell the team. Well, Charlemagne is now banned. <laughs> well... Oh, man, I only go to the garden for boxing matches anyway, though. Salute to the zoo. I'll be there for the... Uh, nope, you're banned. He, Anthony Joshua, so big think. baby. Madison, <laughs> Madison Square Garden just released a statement. Charlamagne the God, a.k.a. Leonard, well, is banned. As long as they don't put my government, I'm good. <laughs> okay? They can ban Charlamagne the God all they want. Leonard will be there. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you for that donkey today.